Welcome to Zakynthos, a well-known resort island in the Ionian Sea of Greece, famous for this stunning location nicknamed Shipwreck Beach. Zakynthos was the third island we sailed to last year when we started our journey across the Med. Now we're back again and ready to explore some new places on the island. I'm Janae and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Good morning. We've been out this morning. I've done a workout, been posting an episode, doing dishes, fixing a few things, so we've been busy. Um, but we're just leaving the bay we're in now, which is across from Turtle Island, that's the nickname of it, um, in Zakynthos, and we're off to Lagana, which is, I think, the most popular seaside kind of town here, apart from the old town, like the city. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and check it out, have a little walk around, um, and then we will go, I think, into Zanti town for tonight, maybe go into the town key there. So we've got a little bit of wind coming, nothing too crazy. Um, but it'd be good to get some practice at another town key and um, check out the town because we didn't get to see it last time. So should be good. So yeah, we'll show you guys. Jason's just pulling the anchor up. So this is where we are. That's Turtle Island over there. And Lagana's is still in this bay, just kind of down that way a little bit. So not too far away. Um, and this is the little town where we are. We didn't check it out. It looks very small and kind of closed. So hopefully it's a little bit more lively where we're going. We'll do whatever you feel comfortable with. It should be okay. Yeah. Um, Jason was just saying that over through here between that island I just showed you guys, um, they're telling us to go around it because it's shallow, but six meters is fine for us. So I guess we'll just take it slow and see how we go. Surely there's like not enough, not any crazy currents or anything through here. Nah, there's no Moving current. sand or anything. It's crazy to think when we were first sailing, we were down this side maybe a week in, two weeks in and we had our first blow of like 20, 25 knots and we were petrified, weren't we, hun? Yeah. <laughs> and now it's like 20, 20, 25 knots is like pretty standard around here, so it doesn't really scare you anymore. But 40 on the other hand is a different story. How cool the umbrellas in that? Very cool. Janae living her best life over here. <laughs> Smacking an ice cream. Feet in the sand. Hat on. Oh, okay, 12 year old. <laughs> I was going to say 10, but. <laughs> What's the island called, hun? Um, I did have a couple before. It's like Statue C. It's like Cortez or Costello. Like ah, yep. It's actually like a house or a restaurant up there. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, it goes all right. All right, we checked out the town. It's um very touristy. More touristy than I even expected. There's like heaps of nightclubs, 
and like souvenir shops and stuff. I wasn't a massive fan of it. It's cool to see it, but yeah, we just had a little walk over to the bridge and the little island over there. You had to pay five euros to get in. Um, so we chose not to go just because, I mean, we can see it from the boat anyway. Um, I think there's like a little beach and stuff there. But I mean, we can go to like all the beaches that we want to anyway. So, um, yeah. And that ends up being like 15 to 20 bucks for both of us to get in Aussie dollars. So we can go out for a meal for that. So yeah, we're going to go and check out possibly uh, Porto Azzurro and Banana Beach, one or the other. Or maybe St. Nicholas. We'll go past to have a look. Where's St. Nicholas? It's just on the end here. Right. On the side you can anchor. Right. Um, and then if we don't want to stay there the night, we'll go on to Zanti Town. So we'll just see how we go. But yeah, day's turned out amazing. It's so nice and sunny now and warm and absolute, got my bikini on. Absolute perla. Yeah, it is. Get your long sleeve shirt off. No. What are you doing? <gasps> Porto Azuro, so we decided to come here. Um, we didn't check out Banana Beach. It looked just like a really big open beach. So this doesn't look like anything that special from here, but I think it's more like the beach bar um, that's popular in the day. So we'll go and check it out tomorrow because it's almost six o'clock now. But there it is over there. And it's still so nice and sunny, stunning. Jason's chilling up on the day bed, having a beer. And I'm making dinner. So we're having lamb cutlets, leftover cauliflower mash, green beans, and something new. They are balsamic rosemary potatoes. So they get cooked in a whole bunch of spices and then the last 15 minutes you pour a broth over. So this is chicken stock, balsamic, honey, and minced garlic. So yeah. Sounds yummy. Voila. The potatoes look bloody good. The whole thing looks good, honey. You've done an amazing job. Thanks, honey. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So we've had our dinner and it's pretty, <laughs> thank you. Um, it's really rolly. Like we're getting smashed around. Oh, uh, yeah, so we've decided we'll move on to Zanti because it may settle down, but it may not. And yeah, we're going to have a shit sleep otherwise. So um, we're not side on to it, which is good at the moment, but we're slapping kind of back and forth into it. So um, that's kind of more when you can drag because it's kind of pulling the anchor and the chain up like this. So um, yeah, anyway. We're heading to Zanti. It's not very far, it's just around the corner, so maybe half an hour or something like that. 
definitely not the most attractive place we stayed at last night. We had to come here because we had some solid swell and the wind started picking up. It wasn't crazy, it was 15 to 20 knots and the swell was probably half a metre, but it was just constant. So we had to move on from the beach where we're at. Where the swell was bigger than what it actually said though. No, it wasn't that big. It was just like constant. That's what I thought anyway. I thought it was like a metre. Janae thinks it's a metre, but it's really hard to tell because you go off the back of the wave, not the front of the wave. Um, but we're going to head to the Blue Caves today, which is on the northern point, and then we'll head to Kefalonia later this afternoon. We're going to go the opposite side that we went to last time we went to Kefalonia. We went the, the beach side last time, so we might do a bit of a loop and then head to Asos Village eventually, but that'll be in the next couple of days. But yeah, we'll get going. We're pretty close to the Blue Caves right now. We're about 20 minutes coming in hot. 6.6 .6 knots motoring. Um, we've got absolutely no wind at the moment. 0 0.8 knots, so can't really sail with that. But it's been a great motor. It's, um, it's such a beautiful day today. This is the Blue Caves. There's a, um, like a bar on the rocks that comes down with like stairs. So you can jump right in around some of the caves. So it looks pretty cool there. We saw that last time. Yeah, last time I didn't jump in and swim. I just kind of looked at it from the boat. So, guess I have to go in this time. We've made it. got a little bit too busy for us in the end so we're gonna sail to Kefalonia we got some really nice wind on a rough 120 ish behind us so it should be a pretty nice sail fingers crossed Which way? 
Yeah, probably wasn't a good idea to go and fetch the hat in 20 knot winds. So the hat did fall in the water, but this gorgeous little thing managed to get it. So I'm still with the hat. Ew! So we're sailing with a full main out and a reef Genoa. Um, we've got the wind on a 140-ish, 120. Um, but yeah, this is this is probably our limit if we turn close haul, which we will be doing soon. That's probably gonna send us crazy and Janae in a panic. So we'll keep an eye on it. If worst comes to worst, we'll probably take the head sail in. I just don't like it when we feel overpowered. Like yeah. I feel like if a gust comes, we're literally gonna be thrown sideways. Like I hate it when it does that. Yeah, if worst comes to worst, we'll take the Geno in and we'll just sail with the main, even if we're not going that fast. Or just a tiny bit of general route. Is that okay? Yep. This has to be the nicest place to sail. You've got all these beautiful islands around you. Yeah, it's Zakynthos, Kefalonia, Left Carda. They're just off the mainland and they're all within five nautical miles of each other. Oh yeah, and Athaki is on the like north side. Eastern side of Catalonia. There you go, I don't know my north from east, but yeah. And the, the best thing is that there's not, no swell at all, so it's a very enjoyable sail. We've got 20 knots of wind behind us, and we're going, we were going 7.2, we lost a bit of speed. Here we go, we'll pick up 6.9. So we're not going too fast, but it's very enjoyable. up to the wind then. So after all that wind, 10 minutes later, it literally just died off. Nothing. <laughs> so it's probably because there's like a gap between the two islands there and then like really kind of shallow land and now we're being blocked by these hills. So tell them, tell motoring it is. Tell them why there's no catabolic winds from these guys. Well, yeah. Sometimes in Greece, well, a lot of the time in Greece you get catabatic winds, but I'm guessing you don't really get it around here because there's a lot of trees. So it kind of breaks the wind up. It doesn't gush down the mountains, which is nice because it can be really like unpredictable and full on. So yeah. We made it to Kefalonia safe and sound. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we visit some new places on Kefalonia and head back to a few faves, including one of our favorite Greek beaches. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe or if you want to show your extra support, consider becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.